Hello Taurus, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 19th of February. Late last week, Mercury, the planet of communication, moved into a very sociable part of your scope. Now he's going to be joined on Monday by the Sun. Over the next four weeks, this is going to be a great opportunity to interact with other people. The combination of the two together suggests that you could enjoy some real sparks of connection with someone in your circle. If there is somebody new that's entered your world or your orbit or does this week, they could be having quite a profound impact upon you. But with Venus, your ruler, combining with Neptune, it's also possible that you can also trip the light fantastic. So if you do go out with a friend or a group of people and then you're enjoying the arts or a show or a band, go into a film, then this certainly can be a very vivid experience for you all. But lying in wait on the other side of the heavens is Mars. And Mars is in a very deep, uh, sultry part of your scope. And the combination between Mars and Neptune and also Venus is not necessarily very helpful. It suggests that there could be a situation where you feel there are real benefits for your future, but there could be some kind of trick or catch that is not necessarily instantly obvious. So you do need to proceed with a degree of caution. Ironically, the Sun, but first of all Mercury, forge a great link with Saturn. So if you're in one of those moods to really find out the facts on a situation and dig beneath the surface and really do your research, the chances are you can do it very effectively. And I think that's going to be very important, even around your human relationships. So if you do meet someone new, you really like them, whether it's got a romantic or friendship dimension to it, then just be a little bit cautious about how you approach things. Now, there is a quarter moon this week, and this quarter moon occurs in the part of your horoscope that's to do with your everyday resources. Again, around your friendships, there may be someone that you like, but in some ways, perhaps they disappoint you. Perhaps they're a little bit mean about buying a round of drinks or paying their way, or don't acknowledge you for your generosity and kindness. This could make you think on an old or existing relationship about whether this has got any future role to play in your situation. Fortunately, Jupiter, the planet of growth, is forging a fine link with Pluto still. And for you, that suggests that there can still be one person that's proven to be an increasingly influential player in your world. And this person may be a bit of a wise owl. They may love travel. They may be quite studious and have a lot of knowledge that you feed off. Yet do be aware that with Uranus forging a less positive angle to Jupiter, it's also possible that maybe there are elements of someone that you're drawn to that can leave you feeling a little bit restless, and it's hard to understand exactly what it is. Perhaps someone is larger than life, very attractive in some way, but if there is a little niggle at the bottom of your feelings around a situation, I think it's... Uh, wise for you to, to listen to this. But in general, this is an opportunity to reinvigorate your social life this week, to think more about your future plans, and also to try to see if your existence is I, as, I, as idealistic as you would like. Of course, we all have to fulfil the more earthy side of our existence, and you can be very good at that. But sometimes we need something more, and the things you believe in could be part and parcel of the mix this week and over the next four weeks too. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, I'd love it if you would subscribe, like or comment on my channel. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.